G'day, it's Russ here, Prime Motion Training. Uh, recently I had a question from Manny, one of our members who's preparing for his entrance exam and he got a little bit stumped on question 24. And this question comes from the ASA practice tests. So I thought I'd uh, record an answer for him and share it with everybody else to benefit from. It's actually a fairly straightforward one. Sometimes we just get a mental block with these types of questions. Um, this one comes from the verbal reasoning section. And there's a number of different types of verbal reasoning. Could be uh, synonyms, could be analogies. This particular one is a logical deductions type of question. So we're given information, we have to make some logical deductions and uh, come up with the answer by doing so. So let's have a look at a question number 24. It says if the Ovensville church is due east of the library and the post office is in the same distance or is the same distance due south of the church, which of the following statements is true? I'm already confused. There's, there's a lot to take in there. So let's just go through it methodically one step at a time. Okay, if the Ovensville church is due east of the library, Okay, that's the first piece of information we want to take really uh, close note of. But first things first, we need to give ourselves some, some um, I guess, some context or some bearings uh, by putting in our directions here. So let's do a little north, south, east, west, uh, and that will give us a, a better visual representation of what we're dealing with. Okay, so the church is due east of the library. So I'm going to put the library about here somewhere and due east, so in other words, that way near this side, near east, is the church. Okay, so we're going to put church over here on the eastern side. All right, so that takes care of those two, and it then goes on to say, and the post office is the same distance due south of the church. Okay, so south is down this way, of course, so we're going to put the post office here. Now, it says the same distance, okay, now we don't know what the distance actually is, but let's assume that, now that doesn't visually look the same distance, but let's say this distance here and here uh, is the same. All right, so if that takes care of the post office's position, uh, we're left with here, which of the following statements is true? All right, so let's have a look. A says the library and the church are closer than the church and the post office. The library and the church are closer than the church and the post office. Well, that's not true because it says in the information here that they're the same distance. So A is certainly not true. The post office is southwest of the library. Post office is here. Southwest of the library is between south and west. So that would be here. So the post office is not over there. So that is not true either. Okay, B is not true. The church is near the post office. The church is near the post office. Well, it could be, but we can't really say because there isn't enough information to say that the church is, is in fact near the post office. So I'd be inclined to sort of leave C just in case, but for now I'm not convinced that that's true. Okay, D, the post office is closer to the library. Post office is closer to the library than the church. Well, again, we can't really ascertain that. We know this distance is the same and this distance is the same. So this is likely to be the same, if not further. So I'm pretty happy that that's actually not the case. So that's not true. E says the library is northwest of the post office. Okay, let's change the color here. The library is northwest. So this is the northwest direction of the post office. Okay, so the bearing is here and it's in a northwest direction sort of relative to the post office, and that's true. That is the case. So that being the case, I'm just going back to see to determine whether the church is near the post office. I mean, we don't really know what the distance is. We know it's the same distance from the church to the post office as from the church to the library, but that could be 300 kilometers away from as far as we're concerned, as far as we know, and that might not be considered close. Okay, so I'm fairly convinced there's not enough information to determine that the church is in fact near the post office. That leaves us with only E as the true statement from question number 24. All right, so that's how the logical deduction stuff works. Now, of course, I'm scribbling that all over an iPad so that you can see it. And if I had that luxury in the exam, that would be fantastic. It would be easy. But you might have to get your bearings if you can't use notes to help you determine uh, these workings out or these questions. You might have to visualize this by looking at the top of the computer screen as north, the bottom as south, and just get your bearings sort of 
uh, using some type of landmark, some type of object in front of you, whether it's the desktop, uh, maybe you might have a pen, you can put a pen at the, at the top to represent north, but you first need to get your bearings, and then you could literally even just place your fingers in certain positions. Well, this one could be here, I'll put my other finger over here, put my hand here. You're just gonna have to visualize and use whatever props might be available if you're not able to scribble it down this way. All right, well, that's that. I hope that helps many, and I hope if you're watching, you found that useful as well. Cheers.